Baron Poschinger von Frauenau Glass Foundry has received a new commission, and the Baron himself is delivering the instructions. I've got the order for Liebenberg Palace, and this is the lamp chimney. The palace is being renovated, and the owners want 30 perfect copies made. And pay attention to the height, make sure it's blown cleanly. The glass is melted at a temperature of 1500 degrees, then it's blown using 400-year-old methods. This is the first step in making the lamp chimney. We're putting the white opaque opal color on the glass sphere that we've blown. The work is done by hand. Even the lamp's beechwood holder will be carved by the company's staff. The family business employs 35 people. Years ago, the firm decided to specialize. Most of its current customers are designers and collectors. Due to energy costs, salaries here in Germany, and other difficulties, a great deal of glass is imported from countries who can exploit cheap labor. We decided our only chance lay in becoming the only German company specializing in custom manufacturing. Have you ever done it yourself? Yes, lots of times. Often as a child. Here, of course. The boss demonstrates his own glass blowing skills for the camera. This is what you call glass art. There's an old glass blower saying, control the glass, don't let it control you. This is exactly what shouldn't happen. I leave it to the more experienced staff members who do it much better. Benedict inherited the company management from his father. We can't describe all of them, but this is my dad. I'm not sure whether there's a resemblance there. I've definitely got a better head of hair than him. The pushing of family business is now in its 15th generation. It's one of the oldest family glass firms in the world. In 1568, Joachim Poschinger bought his first glass foundry. His sons carried on the business. It's a great obligation to make sure you can pass it on to the next generation. It drives you, but it's also a burden. But when the 69-year-old looks at some of the company's most famous pieces, he feels pride more than anything else. Glasses like these can be found adorning the mantelpieces of numerous royal palaces and castles. The glass foundry is located in Frauenau in the heart of the Bavarian forest. Set in farmland next to a large forest, it's one of a kind. Besides the foundry, Benedict and his father Stefan are responsible for managing the land. Bravo! But what if the sons decide against taking over the business? Then it'll be very difficult. We'll have to see. I don't want to think about that. Traditionally, one of the sons has always taken over the management reins of the business. We'll have to see what time brings. I hope we can manage to get them interested in the whole thing. The family owns 2,300 hectares of forest, managed by a professional forest warden. This is actually really good wood. The wood was once used to fire the foundry's furnace. Today it goes to the lumber mill. But with prices low, this tree will fetch only 170 euros. There have always been crises. In the last century, the foundry came to a standstill during the war due to coal shortages. The forest and the farm became the family's main pillars of support. 
für die Familie. Like their glass products, the family sells this wood all over the world. It's a good location for a family empire and the Pushingas are intent on staying here deep in the Bavarian forest.